Hey guys, Joe here. Quick knife tip if you are thinking about batoning. Now, you guys know I'm not an advocate for batoning. I think you should just carry the right tool, something like a hatchet or even a full-size axe to split down your firewood and then process it into kindling. But let's say all you've got is your knife. You come across a piece of wood that might be too large or your knife just happens to be too small. Whatever. What do you do? Most guys will only show you batoning by taking a four to five inch knife a piece of wood it can clearly go through and say yep you split it right down the middle job done and then you keep going from there what i'm going to show you is a little tip you can do with a knife of pretty much any size on a piece of wood any size so long as it's reasonable you're not going to be splitting a giant log with a knife anyways even if you do have one of those monster seven inch like super tactical apocalypse knives you're just not going to be doing that so as long as it's reasonable at least probably this size or maybe an inch bigger you might be even able to go two inches bigger and that'd be the limit you can use pretty much any knife. We're going to use my Cold Steel Mini Pendleton Hunter here. This is a sub 3 inch cutting edge. This is a 3V knife, which is why I'm comfortable using it for this, but you can pretty much do it with any steel as long as it's tough enough to handle batoning and it's not just going to snap on you. You don't want a fragile, brittle steel that'll go little poof on you. So 3V is a good option. This is a really awesome knife for like $80 to $100. I highly recommend it. So right here we can see that it is way too short to go down the middle of that piece of wood. So what do we do? You just take it and move the knife over. It's really that simple guys. All these bushcraft guys don't think to do that and they go, oh well you have to have a knife this big or you just can't baton. Well, no, you can guys if you actually did something other than sitting outside in your backyard. So we just take it, we really wedge it in there and then you just keep splitting down. Now, with the shorter the knife, you might be more prone to have something like that happen. This is a gross piece of willow, so it's not really a good piece to use for firewood anyways. This is just for demonstration. But the shorter the knife is, it might buck out halfway down. All you have to do is flip over and do the same thing. So we're just gonna keep going around the edge on this thing, trying to get as much blade tip out as we can. Just split off a new other chunk there. And now we're gonna come up on a knot here. So we're not gonna split it all the way around, but I'll do it one more time. You don't have to go down the middle, just pick a side. And as you go through, every time you do this, it's gonna be easier and easier because the piece of wood is getting smaller and smaller. And now we're starting to go through the heart of the willow. And now once we get down to this size where I can go straight down the middle, I can go down the straight down the middle, or once we get it perfectly square or however many angles you pick, you can just take an angle and go from there. So if I bring this around so it's more appropriate, I can go straight through the hardwood, well, heartwood of this. Voila, I just got right down the middle. That piece of wood was too big for me to split, too big for me to baton with this little itty bitty knife. But all I had to do was go around the perimeter of this piece of wood and I was able to do that. So you absolutely do not need a monster knife to baton so long as you're batoning things that are reasonable in size. Now, this was a little bit of an easier example because I was using slightly damp uh, willow. The core is a little bit wet, but it's not as bad as you would see a, like just dead standing or um, dead on the ground type wood. This was actually from something that's up off the ground, uh, but still somewhat alive. This part was actually dead, but the core of it is still living. Uh, so it's a little bit, it's not necessarily green, but more moist, but this is a pretty good example, I would say, of you don't want to follow bushcraft dogma, guys. All you have to do is instead of going down the middle, go around the perimeter and you can pretty much baton any reasonable size piece of wood with any size knife so long as you know what you're doing and it's the right blade steel. This is 3V. I am absolutely not worried about it at all. If it was something a little bit more brittle, something a little bit more breakable, I would not do that. I would want to choose my steel over the length of the knife. Steel is the big key here and how it's treated, not the length of the blade. So with that said, I hope you guys stay safe, stay informed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.